Welcome to the Curiosity Code, the place where strange truths and untold history come to light. Ever wondered how far the government will go for warfare and control? Buckle up! Today we dive into a secretive military operation involving airplanes, clouds, and weather. Yes, weather. Imagine turning a sunny day into a storm, using the sky to drown your enemy's movement, trap their supply lines, and flood their morale. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie or a conspiracy theory, right? But this was real. In the 1960s, the U.S. military launched a covert weather warfare campaign over Vietnam. It was called Operation Popeye, aiming to manipulate the monsoon season for tactical advantage. You heard that, right? The U.S. tried to weaponize the weather. But before we get to that... Let's dive into the bizarre, rain-soaked world of cloud seeding, military secrets, and the question that still lingers. Can we control the weather? The idea of controlling the weather isn't new. For centuries, humans have dreamed of influencing nature, calling down rain in times of drought. But it wasn't until the 20th century that science began catching up with imagination. By the 1940s, American scientists were experimenting with a process called cloud seeding. The basic idea was to seed clouds with substances like silver iodide or dry ice to encourage precipitation. When introduced into the right type of cloud, these particles acted as nuclei around which moisture could condense, forming raindrops or snowflakes that would fall to the ground. Initially, it was marketed as a potential miracle for agriculture. But soon, military minds began to wonder, could we use this to create rain when and where we wanted for war? By the 1960s, that what-if became a classified mission. The Vietnam War was unlike anything the U.S. military had experienced before. It wasn't just a battle against a defined army. It was a war against guerrilla tactics, thick jungles, and booby traps. It was frustrating unpredictable and increasingly unpopular back home. The terrain of Vietnam was already brutal. Dense rainforests, muddy trails, and a tropical monsoon season that could halt operations. But what if those factors could be weaponized? This is where Operation Popeye comes in. The plan was deceptively simple. Make it rain. A lot. The U.S. military wanted to extend the monsoon season in key areas of the Ho Chi Minh Trail a network of supply routes used by the North Vietnamese. By artificially increasing rainfall, they hoped to wash out roads, create landslides, and bog down convoys. It wasn't about destroying buildings or dropping bombs, it was about flooding roads and turning supply chains into sinking nightmares. The motto of the operation? Make mud, not war. In 1967, Operation Popeye was launched, but it was so secret that not even Congress knew what was happening. Over five years, from 1967 to 1972, the U.S. Air Force flew over Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, seeding clouds with silver iodide. These were modified C-130S and F-4C Phantom aircraft equipped with dispensers and flare launchers for weather manipulation. Each mission aimed to locate moist clouds, seed them, and hope torrential rain followed. Reports from pilots and ground forces claimed it worked. Roads washed away. Trucks got stuck. Flooding increased. In some cases, it was said the rainfall lasted 30% longer than usual in seeded areas. But how much of this was measurable success, and how much was self-confirming bias? That's part of the controversy that followed. Regardless, the operation continued for five years, untouched, unnoticed, and undetected by the public. Now here's where it gets murky. Cloud seeding, while not inherently destructive, crosses a strange line when used in war. No explosions, no gunfire, but the consequences are real. The flooding may have impacted civilian villages. The manipulation of natural systems raises serious questions about long-term effects. And most concerning of all, it was done in secret. By the early 1970s, journalists began to catch wind no pun intended of Operation Popeye, and in 1971, the Pentagon Papers leaked. While the bulk of the papers exposed the political decisions behind the war, buried within the documents were references to weather modification as a covert tactic. 
That led to a domino effect. In 1972, a report confirmed the U.S. used weather as a weapon in Southeast Asia. The press and public were stunned. Congress was furious. One senator described it as playing God with nature. Another called it military adventurism at its worst. And in a way, it was a violation, not just of nature, but of trust. The revelation sparked international concern. If the United States could do this, what would stop other countries from doing the same? It was a terrifying prospect. In response, the United Nations took action. In 1977, they introduced the NMOD Convention. It banned the use of environmental modification techniques for military purposes. The U.S. signed the treaty. Operation Popeye had proved it was possible to manipulate the weather. The ethical line had been crossed. And even today, many believe similar operations may still exist, hidden in the shadows. That brings us to the present. Cloud seeding still exists and is often used for peaceful purposes, like enhancing rainfall in drought-stricken areas or improving snowfall in ski resorts. Countries like China, the UAE, and the US use it for agriculture. But the idea of militarized weather control, that's still taboo. And yet, the technology has evolved. We now have advanced satellites, AI modeling, and even discussions about geoengineering, deliberately altering the Earth's climate to combat global warming. It begs the question, where's the line? Are we one step away from Operation Popeye 2.0? No one knows for sure. But what we do know is this. When science, secrecy, and war mix, the results can be as unpredictable as the weather itself. Operation Popeye isn't just a quirky Cold War experiment, it's a reflection of how far we're willing to go to win. It shows us how fragile the balance between nature and control is. Because once you realize that governments have tried to manipulate the clouds above your head, what else have they tried to control? It's not just about rain, it's about how we see the world. If this story blew your mind or made you think differently about what's possible, Hit that like button and subscribe to the Curiosity Code. We uncover the strange, the forgotten, and the flat-out unbelievable stories that history left behind. Got a wild theory? A strange piece of history you want us to explore? Drop it in the comments. We love diving down rabbit holes with you. And remember, sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Until next time, stay curious.